Hello everyone, I'm Simon Preston, and welcome back to Reggae Boys Commentary. This is the channel where we talk about everything relating to Jamaican football. This is the channel where we dissect players, clubs, information, administrators, all of that nature. We make sure that all of that comes together quite well. And on this channel as well, we also talk about players who are of Jamaican heritage and how they're doing at their respective clubs as well. And this video is no different along those lines because we have some good news to share. And the good news is this. Denzel Hall, who was born in the Netherlands to a Jamaican father and a Dutch mother, has signed a new contract at Feyenoord. He is the 20-year-old left back. His new deal takes him up until the summer of 2024 with the Dutch club. So he has three years. I don't want to call it comfort, but there's job security. There's not pressure put on him. We've seen a number of young players, late teens, early 20s, a one-year deal, a two-year deal to try to something to bring something into light. But this three years will allow him to settle in the first team, make progression, get some minutes. Second season, maybe he might go on loan to the second division. And then the third season, you'd expect him to stamp his authority in the first team and then earn another contract after that. Feyenoord is a big club, one of the biggest in the Netherlands. You can talk about Ajax, Azad Alkmaar, Vitesse, Feyenoord. 15 Eredivisie titles, 13 KNVB Cups, 4 Johan Cruyff Shields, 1 Champions League title, which was back in 1969-1970. Two UEFA Cups, 1973-74 season, and 2001-2002 season, and one Intercontinental Cup. Denzel is meshing into a very, very compelling unit because there's quality players within the first team, and I'm excited to see what comes out of progressing. Uh, Dick Advocat, the, the former Dutch manager, was the man that really spoke with the youth team coaches and said, let's promote this guy to the first team. So full credit to him for the work that he has done. But Arne Slot, the manager now at Feyenoord, is the one that gave Denzel Hall the number 32 jersey. So he clearly sees trust and faith in him. Good players, you know, at, at the club. Ali Reza, Ali Reza Jahan Bashk of Iran. Reese Nelson, Arsenal, who we know has his injury concerns, but I fully expect him to play some point in the season. Luis Sinistera of Colombia. Joao Teixeira, who should have been that big thing at Liverpool, but only made a handful of appearances there. But still players that are able to make a difference. Feyenoord finished fifth in the league last season. And they'll be aiming for European places. What's interesting here is that Denzel Hall was not sent out on loan. Young player would sign a new contract, then get sent out on loan. But that's not the case here, is it? No. So there's clearly an intention for him to add depth to the first team. And yes, right now he is just a squad player. But can you imagine the experiences he's learning being in the dressing room with senior pros? Just being in that traveling with the team week in, week out. He Right now he's just like a sponge, just soaking everything in. And for me, that is a positive. Even if he only plays five games in the first team this season, for me, 
It's about getting his feet wet. He's 20, going to be 21 next year. And I know many of you have been wondering, well, what is the deal? Is Louis van Gaal going to call him up? Well, Louis doesn't have his eyes on Denzel. The last time Denzel Hall played for the Dutch national team was at youth level, under 17, I believe. Louis, I wouldn't say has turned a blind eye to Denzel Hall, but right now, Louis is not looking in that direction. The only reason we would have to have a, a concern or be worried about Denzel is if the Dutch have an injury crisis like they did a couple of years ago. But for now, I don't expect Denzel to break into the Dutch first team, Dutch senior team, I should say. So we can have him on our radar. We can look at him at him closely. And we can analyze all the opportunities that can present itself here. This new deal, this three-year deal, is something to rejoice. It is something as Jamaican fans we can commend him for. And my hope in the grand scheme of things is that Denzel will make the strides that he needs to. Because come 2026, he's going to be 25. Good age, eh? The heir to Kemar Taxi Lawrence. <laughs> well, you guys heard that interview that I did with Taxi. Taxi said it himself. This would, this would be his last World Cup qualifying cycle. Well, let's see. Let's see. Let's see, shall we? Reggae Boys fans, thank you so much for tuning in to another video on this channel. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for all your comments. I see them all. The likes. I see them all. Honestly, guys, please continue as I push out more content. You know it for sure. And I'm working on it. And I'm working on even more things. All right, guys, you know for certain that I will ensure that you will get exactly the truth, the facts. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary for more content.